he was screaming and he was he had his hand on the table and he wasn't completely standing up. He was like this. Like, he was sitting, he was enough that when I shot him, he was, went like this. Literally. That's when I knew he was dead. Kelly 911. Ma'am, I have, I have an, an um, um, oh, I, I killed my boyfriend in self-defense. Okay, where are you at? I'm at 12 Meadow Lane, Highland Heights, Kentucky. 41076. Okay, 12 Meadow Lane, are you in a house or an apartment there? It's an apartment, it's apartment suite 10. Is it Meadow, anything else, Meadow View or something? No, it's all Meadow Lane, ma'am. I killed him in the Okay, 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 okay. Tell me again, tell me again what unit you're in. It's not showing on my computer. It's 10, I've seen it 10. Okay, you're at 12 Meadow Lane, unit number 10. Okay, hold on, hold on. What did you kill him with? A gun, a loaded gun in the house. Can tell me where the gun is right now. A gun is in the house. Where at though, ma'am? Tell me where it's at. I, I laid it on the bookshelf. Where at? Laying on a shelf? On the bookshelf. It's, it's where are you? I'm standing about 10 feet from his dead body. <laughs> okay, are you sure that he is dead? He's, he's dead, ma'am. He's completely dead. Okay. And how long ago did you shoot him? I don't know, 15, 10 minutes, not even that long. Like 10 or 15 minutes ago? Yeah. Okay, what's your name? My name is Shana Michelle Huber. I'm sorry, what is it again? Tell me. Shana, Shana Michelle Huber. Huber? Huber, H-U-B-E-R-S, Huber. Okay, what's, what's your name again? Shana or Shana? Shana, I think Shana. All right, Shana, I'm just
just having a hard time hearing you. Okay, all right. Now you're gonna stay on line. Listen, you're gonna stay on the line with me, okay? Because this is what we're gonna do. The officers don't want me to stay on the line with you. So when you get when they get there, they're gonna want to know where that gun is, and we want you to get out safely too, okay? Okay. Are they gonna arrest me? Ma'am, I don't know what they'll do. We're gonna send send them out. I'm gonna stay on the line with you, okay? I mean, I'm not a murderer, ma'am. I just killed him. What, what, what happened exactly? What happened? <laughs>
And you know, I wasn't doing anything that was mean. I was like begging him to to stay in the relationship and be with me because I knew that we weren't really loving each other. You know, Ryan had told me that he loved me and wanted to be with me. And I guess somewhere along the way, I grew to hate. He was screaming how much he hated me. I don't know if anyone will ever want to marry me if they know that I killed a boyfriend and felt <laughs> It's not funny, but the stuff he was saying to me was so abusive while he was throwing me around the room. I'll never forget I think in the midst of that, my love turned to hate, and I remember screaming, F you. reaching up to grab the shirt. F you out there, you mock my family out there. Talk back, please, please speak really of my mother and my family. If I don't get any serious consequences, then I could really be happy just having a career and maybe not even ever getting married because this is very traumatic, you know, it's very traumatic for me mm -hmm. to live with it. I have to know that I did that to someone that I told every day, I love you. He had put his arm across the table and there's a lamp and he had put his arm across the table and had it in my face and was screaming at me at the top of his lungs after he had thrown me around the room and was saying emotionally to me, you're a f***ing hillbilly. I f***ing hate you. I hate everything about you for what you are and my family. And he was screaming and he was, he had his head on the table and he wasn't completely standing up. He was like this. So was like, mm -hmm. he was sitting, he was announced it when I shot him. He was sitting like this. Literally. That's when I knew he was dead. Or close to it mm -hmm. and twitching. And that's, and I couldn't, I let him, I still, even though the hurt, I still, enough of me, loved him. But I couldn't stand to watch him twitch. I knew he was going to die or have a completely deformed face. He's very vain. One of our last conversations we had that was good was that he wants my best friend who's a dentist to do his veneers and wants to get a nose job. Just that kind of person. And I shot him right here. I gave him his nose job. He wanted... I broke it. And I just picked up the gun and in the middle of him doing something with his arm or saying something crazy, he shot him. And I thought, oh my God, what have I done? You know? And he was laying with his face on the table, like twitching. And so I knew he was going to die a very slow and painful death. I knew he was already dead, you know, and within the next 20 seconds. So in the next two minutes, I knew he was going to be dead. And he was in a lot of pain. He was twitching, he was moaning, but he was ultimately dead. And so I shot him enough times to kill him so that he wouldn't suffer. was a few more times and he, I shot him I think I shot him twice thought he was completely dead and he was laying there still twitching and making noises and I shot him in the head I probably should have left it there but I knew he was going to die mm -hmm. or have a very deformed face and you were concerned and I knew, well, no, he would have died. He was already dying. He was already, he was dying. 
that I just walked around the table and shot him where I knew he would die immediately. In fact, his obsession with guns killed him. You know, I would have never, I'm so Democrat, I would have never touched a gun in my life until I dated him. I'm not your typical partner, you know, I'm not someone that you see on the He said, you're just a hillbilly from Kentucky. And he, I am. I guess I, guess the hillbilly came out of me. <laughs> I took that for myself. And if it matters now, the worst thing I've ever done in my whole life. But I feel like Part of me doesn't feel bad about it. And a part of me does, you know what I mean? Like, a part of me is like, he hit me, he threw me. You just don't treat a woman like that. When I was like in high school and she was a convicted seller. She told me that the and then that she got, she was, she went for cocaine. She told me to go. And then that she got along with in jail or prison by the women that were there because they had killed her husband. And said that hell has no fury like a woman's for. <laughs> Never believed it until now. I walked around the table. <laughs> and I think that's when I shot him in the head. I shot him probably six times. Shot him in the head. He fell onto the ground. He was like laying like this. His glasses were still on. He was twitching some more. I shot him a couple more times just to make sure he was dead. Cause I didn't want to watch him die. Mm -hmm. How sweet the sound that I sang. I did. Yes, I did. I can't believe.